You know, over the years, there's been many things that, of course, have fucked a lot of people up in arms, none more so than the titles bestowed on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They were, of course, given on the morning of their wedding day, all the way back. And it was something, apparently, that Meghan Markle claimed she truly didn't care about because titles meant nothing. Everybody, though, very quickly got used to the Sussexes, you know, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, even though, to my knowledge, Meghan Markle has only visited that wonderful area here in the United Kingdom seemingly once and that was for a very brief visit. I've often wondered what they think to the fact that their county if you like their area is literally known around the world but simply not known to them even though she goes under the moniker. But what's been fascinating over the years is the fact of course that Meghan Markle has claimed that while she wasn't bothered about her title she certainly wanted her two children. Turned down the opportunity of the Earl of Dumbarton because allegedly she didn't want Archie to be seen as dumb rather ridiculous sort of thing when you think about it. A lovely area, a lovely title, any title bestowed upon you should be met with gratitude, but seemingly not. Now they've got a bigger problem, Harry and Meghan, seemingly because as she now wants to clearly push ahead in a brand new direction and sees this as a whole new light, particularly in the light of the recent attempted assassination of the 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump. And the fact that now we have a woman of colour in the race, her words, not mine, Kamala Harris, you can understand exactly how this thing's slightly developing. But now there's a bigger problem and it's heading towards those two at home. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you here in the beautiful King's Cross, uh, a beautiful, beautiful station, over 150 years old now. And as I've said to you before, when you think of the journeys that have been undertaken in here, I always like watching and re-watching the Kenneth Moore version of the 39 Steps. Remember that brilliant movie? Well, of course, parts of it was filmed here. So many movies have been filmed here at King's Cross. Always worth a look round, as is St Pancras, home, of course, of the Spice Girls infamous wannabe video before they reopened it as a hotel. Yeah, everything's history very quickly, isn't it? Back as ever, though, to your royal story of the day. Now, this is interesting, truly, because obviously this makes it very difficult in the land of Harry and Meghan moving forward. You see, she is, whatever people say in her team, very keen, very enlightened now, and very happy about the direction that politics are going. If you remember the last time around, they made a very glum video, sat on a bench urging people to vote. Remember that. This time around, I've been told that Meghan would very much like to get more involved but here's where it gets tricky because if she did go down that path then literally the titles are gone they're relinquished but Megan's theory is truly this and I actually agree on this you see the bottom line is people will always now know them in some shape or form as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex whether he loses his title or not he still remains a Prince of the realm and of course the son of the King and so that sticks for her, she's famous, she's kind of got what she wants, the world knows her as Meghan, or indeed Meghan Markle. So she's pointed out, if of course she had to relinquish a title, it wouldn't be too much of a hassle for her. Apparently though, not so the husband, Prince Harry. He very much holds on to his royal heritage, and rightly so, he was born into it. But the bottom line for him now is, what happens if she wants to push her head, and he's not keen? You see how this develops. And more so the fact that she does want to push ahead, and more so the fact that also Harry apparently still hankers after a life of tranquility away from the spotlight and not necessarily in the blazing spotlight of, say, a candidate, uh, you know, whatever you want to call them, something attached to the White House, whatever. It wasn't the life that he planned. He truly believed in his eyes that they were going to go off to Africa and live happily ever after away from the spotlight. It's not truly working out. It is a developing story, but it's not developing in the way that Harry first felt. Neil Sean, King's Cross, London.